I was surprised, but I realize that now our mistake that we made, and we hurt people by how we messaged it, and we never intended to have Alberta farmers feel that we, because we, uh, we believe Alberta farmers treat their cattle humanely, and we never wanted to put down Alberta beef at all. Our criteria is beef that is raised without the use of antibiotics uh, and hormones, and comes from a facility that has a certification of the humane treatment of animals that is audited. Yeah, at Earls, we listened to our consumers, and we listened to industry, and we, lis we listened, and sourcing Canadian beef is very important. So we're going to work with producers uh, and industry to get Canadian beef and Alberta beef uh, back into our restaurant that meets our criteria. It does. We were using that supply from Alberta uh, under those criteria in all of our test stores for the first two years of running this in our restaurants. And when we wanted to put it out to all of our restaurants, we found that that one supply wasn't enough. We were looking for one source. Uh, we found it out of Canada. And that's where we know we didn't do enough work. And we need to work harder with local ranchers to, create, to help create a supply for the beef that we want to put on our menus. We've actually been meeting uh, yesterday and today with uh, producers, with Aspen Ridge Farms, which was our original producer that we had in Canada, and working with them to build their supply. Uh, we've also had a lot of ranchers from across Canada reach out to us, and they want to help, and they want to help us uh, build a supply of the product from Alberta that meets our criteria.